down the middle like that. Happy days. Welcome to every shot from a 12 handicappers round here at Tandridge Golf Club. It is a top 100 course here in the UK and I am absolutely blessed to be here. I mean, look at this backdrop. It's crazy. It's absolutely stunning out here. I think the objectives we're going to set for ourselves today are going to be to break 85, see if we can beat Jimmy Bullard's score who played here last week. He played off the whites as well in his, I think it was open qualifying event. So we are going to be trying to beat his Stableford score, which was 35 points. So we'd need to shoot, we'd have to shoot about 11 over for that to happen. So yeah, let's dive into the video and see what we can do. In the fairway, um, just gonna hit a seven. This is a par five, so. Not the best connection, but it'll do. Probably have about, I don't know, 100 in, maybe a little bit less. Big shout out to uh, Jamie and Ollie who have invited me and Ben down to play. We've got a little bit of a 2v2 match going on, so it'll be best, but I'll keep you updated on how that goes. But you'll be seeing every shot of my round, see how we get on. Okay, we've got 83 yards to pin here. A little bit low, should work. Oh, it's good bounce as well. Really good bounce. All right, we're putting for a bird. Probably a little bit longer than I want, but. All right, okay, I've got 30 foot for birdie. Oh, I've absolutely smashed that. Stop. Yeah, smashed it. These greens are fast. I've putted through the break. That is frustrating. All right, it's a bogey to start for me. Just got away with one there. Holly's just missed a, a really good chance for birdie. Uh, ben made a pass, so we are all level in the match. So uh, yeah, beer's on the line. Okay, we have a tricky dog leg to the right. Par four here is very long and the green is absolutely insane. I think just in plays probably, probably the order of the day on this par four. Very tricky. I'll take that all day long. Yeah, that'll be the best of the day, I guarantee it. All right, okay, um, so we got quite a way in here, despite a pretty good drive, still got about 180 something. Um, gonna play it up the left hand side, uh, big bunkers on the right, and then it'll be an easy up and down if I don't, you know, potentially get, get on. I've actually hit that right on time. <laughs> Sit. That's gonna go out the back, I think. Sit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Right, okay. So, <laughs> I've just counted to the slope and it's like 55 foot to the slope. Now the slope, I'm gonna try and get far right because it actually goes very much like a full slide down to the flag. It's one of those putts that if I don't get it to the slope, this is gonna look absolutely ridiculously bad, but gotta give it a good knock. Now catch the slope and turn. Ah, oh, I've overdone it. Yeah, it's the right play. I just needed to not smash it through the break. Needed it to take the hill probably about 30 foot shorter. <laughs> ah, it's not a bad putt. Not a bad putt, not a bad putt. Just tap that one in. Right, so another bogey for me. We've got a straight as you like par four here. It's 399 yards long and it's SI6. Come round, round, whoa, get under the tree. Yeah, look at that, perfect. Of course, guys, if you want to get me out, your local course, whatever, drop me a DM on Instagram or TikTok. This is where I actually got this one set up. Jamie messaged me through TikTok. So if you want to uh, drop me a message, go for it. We'll get out, we'll play some golf. The summer is here and I'm absolutely loving it. This course is beautiful, by the way. And I'm just going to add one more quick objective here to the list, 100 likes. Smash that like button now. Also, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please do. As you can see from the graphic on the screen, 90% of you are not subscribed. That would be absolutely epic. Right, we've got, we just about found the fairway. Uh, 153 yards in here. Uh, gonna hit an eight iron. Ooh, bit thin. Get over the bunker. Get over the bunker. In the bunker. Just did not catch that quite right. I think I just got a little bit quick on the downswing. All right, deep bunker shot here. Just get that out kind of job, this one. It's out. Didn't, I just didn't really commit. Got a long putt now. 
don't know where that's going. Jesus Christ, what is going on with my putting right now? Oh my goodness me. Oh dear, that's a double bogey. That is poor. Next up, we have a par three. It is like a postage stamp green. It is tiny and it is surrounded by bunkers. Okay, what I've been told is, is a case of either make a hole in one or risk making a seven this hole. Um, which, it doesn't sit all that well with me. About 149 to the pin with downwind, gonna hit a, a nine iron. Turn, just turn. Okay, there's a, there's a hum of appreciation that that's a good miss because now I'm gonna be hitting up the slope rather than having to come back down towards the slope, which apparently if you get it wrong at all and it goes past the flag, you are off the green at the front. Right, okay, so we've got 45 foot to the pin, but this is huge uphill, so I'm gonna play it like it's 50 foot. It's up the hill. Pin eye, good speed. Oh my God. Oh. I'm having a mare here. Next up for us is the second hardest hole on the course. It's a 444 yard par four. All right. Yeah, that's an interesting line. Good approach in from there overhead. Right, okay guys, we've landed on the, the path in amongst all the trees, so we're getting relief from that. So not the best lie, now I'm sitting down in the trees. I'm gonna try and kind of like punch this one out underneath the trees, hopefully miss that bunker. Just don't go in the bunker. Skip it, skip it. That rolled right along the edge of it. As you can tell, we haven't had the greatest start to the round today. Um, obviously, we're quite a few over. A lot of golf to play, as they say. Um, I just need to get my putting dialed in. I was so good on the putting green as well, which is strange. Um, usually putting is like the best part of my game, but yeah, got a, got a bit of work to do here. Okay, guys, here's the play. It's 166 to the pin, it's a little downwind. Um, it's gonna hit an eight iron because it's at the back, so I don't really want to go out the back here. It's a little left. It's up there though. If that's gone out the back, that has gone massive. Come on, where are we landing this? Out there. Oh my God, I literally caught it in the grass. Dom! I've just seen that this green is incredibly fast. <laughs> Keep going. All right. I mean, it's the first two part of the round, so you take the small victories, even though it's a double bogey. Is a bloodbath out there? Can we get back on track on this 359 yard par four? Oh, Tom, you are on absolute life support at the moment that is a good job ben's here <laughs> we're actually having a bit of a joke because currently ollie and ben are having a match on their own and me and jamie are having a match on our own <laughs> all right we're not doing ourselves particularly proud but um yeah get this out have a shot into the green that's kind of what we're looking for here oh for lord's sake how have i pulled that so much Oh dear guys, this might be a bit of a brutal round, I won't lie. See, I don't think I'm going to be able to get there in three now, so we're going to be chipping on for four. Ooh, this, is, this is bad news. I reckon my game, I, I was playing well yesterday. I reckon my game is just literally just a little bit off. That'll do. Just should sit there now. It's past the bunker, yeah. I gotta say, this golf course is so nice. It is so beautiful. You know, somehow, you know, some courses really resonate with you. This is one of those courses for me. It's just beautiful. The trees are lovely. The fairways, unreal. Bunkers full of sand. I mean, this is what you expect from a top hundred, but oh, it feels so good. So this is the thing. I'm not gonna let the score affect me today. I'm not gonna let the score affect me. Like we're here, we're playing. Obviously, I want to score well. But if I don't, it's not a problem. Still going to enjoy the round of golf. All right, so we've got 64 or 61 playing 64 into wind. So I'm going to hit this like a 70 shot. Do need to go relatively high with it though. So That's not a great shot, but it's going to work. It's up there. 
that's all we could hope for. All right. Got a 33 foot here, but I feel like it's probably playing like 12 foot. I feel like it's just going to keep on rolling forever. Part. Ooh, oh, yeah, part. okay. No, that's not a par, that's a six. <laughs> no, that's a six. Next up, we have a drivable par four. It's the easiest on the course, only 308 yards long. So I've been told this is a drivable par four. Don't really believe it, but we'll give it a go. Ah, that's just straight right, isn't it? It might just go straight in the bunker. We're all right, nowhere near the green. As this round has gone on, I've realized that I need to change my objectives. Like, my objective now is to make par <laughs> on one hole. And this is a good opportunity. We're 67 yards away from the green here. That should be really good. Oh, yes. Really good opportunity for birdie. So we'll probably make a bogey. That's, that's kind of how this round's going. <laughs> All right, you know what? I wouldn't say no to a birdie, but I'd say yes to a par as well, to be fair. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's the first par of the round, SI18, bless me. Next up is a demanding par three. It's actually blind from the tee. You can't see onto the green, which makes it extra challenging. All right, got par three here, kind of aiming right at the pin. Just want to get it on, really. Ah, it's a little right. Yeah, we're putting. What we need. And if you want an update on the match, well, Ollie and Ben have basically played the first like bunch of holes against each other. And then me and Jamie have just parred the same hole together. So we're still one down, me and Ben. I don't know what's going on, but they've put the pins out in like the most ridiculous positions. This is what I'm being told by Ollie and Jamie. It's not my but looking at them, they do all seem to be in the bottom of swales, the bottom of slopes and stuff. I've got to hit about 54 foot to get it to the slope and then it should just trickle down. Oh, that looks pretty good. Go, go, now stop. Right, there was no way that was ever stopping off that slope. That's crazy. All right, I've got to make this to uh, half the hole. Yes. Back to back pars, I don't, I'm a new man. I'm a new man. <laughs> Hole nine is a stunning par five. You end just in front of the clubhouse. It's absolutely beautiful. There you go. That's better, hybrid back. Right, we're just gonna go up and over the uh, bunker here, guys. Just hit a seven iron. Keep it in play, leave myself like 120 in or something. Oh, we'll pull that a little bit. Just stay safe, stay out of the rough. Stay out of the rough. Stay on, away from that tree. That is a terrible layup, that is. It's crazy how your golf game can go up and down day to day, isn't it? Like yesterday, felt like I was smashing it. Best I've played in a long time today. A little bit, little bit, ra little bit rough around the edges, especially those first six holes. I mean, the, I think the free putts got in my head and then I, wasn't sh then I started striking it badly just out of nowhere. Um, yeah, we just, just got to get back in the game. We've got a bit of a blind shot now, just pulling it over into this rough. We have got a shot though. Um, it's basically the pin is that big, big tree, the tall bit of it in the background. It's about 130 yards away. Ah, oh, so left. Ah, oh, damn. All right, let's see what we can do up there. Look at that. You've got to be kidding me. It's actually sitting in this impact spot even though it hasn't like actually plug plugged. Oh no. All right, it's not actually as bad as I first thought. The only problem is standing here is a joke. I can't actually stand on this. Okay, just while I've got a bit of a stun. All right, we're out. I mean, that's literally all I can do. I'm literally falling down the face of this bunker. All right, got about almost 60 foot on this one. Wind's picking up as well. I think we're on the top of the hill now. I'm looking forward to seeing the other side of the course. It's unreal. Slow down. It's not the worst part. Oh, I thought I'd miss there. Nice six. Um, just a little bit unfortunate with that bunker, to be honest. 
Hole 10 is a par 4, it's the 7th hardest on the course and it's 430 yards long. Trees, yeah. Don't go right up against that tree, I think we're okay. Alright guys, um, now I have said in the past that I need to play more within my limits. So like, not taking hybrid off the floor. Um, but we are in the middle of a match, so I've got to kind of try and contribute to the team. Uh, this is like 200 yards, playing 240. I can't hit three wood, so I'm hoping that I can just get up to the front edge. Good contact is really what we're looking for here, though. Caught it quite well. Just don't go in that bunker on the left. Get over it! It's over, it's on! Oh my God, that is a fucking shot. Right, okay. So I would usually chip it, but... I've got 23 yards, which is 66, but it's downhill, so I'm going to hit like a 60-foot putt here. Oh my god, the fringe has killed it. I thought, I didn't know, I didn't know whether this was sort of like the fringe that you could putt through or not. And now I've learned you definitely cannot putt through that. Turn. Oh yes, come on! Who's fighting now, boys? <laughs> I couldn't let I couldn't let you couldn't have it, Jay. I couldn't let you have a hole. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next up, we have a very, very challenging par four. Yeah, yeah that'll do. Oh, I like that a lot. I literally couldn't have placed this one better in the fairway. Got a good look at the pin coming up. Yeah, I think we're trending. We're trending a little bit. That rocky start. It's, you know what? It's really frustrating when you have a rocky start in a round. It obviously happens more frequently than you probably want but you just got to stick in there you got to hang in there keep the faith that your game's going to come together and you're going to make some putts because like now i'm going to walk away from that round being like oh i remember when i made that putt air it out to the left got to play my own game here ollie's just hit an amazing shot in there does play off seven though so it's coming in go in more bounce right yes trickling around a little bit Decent, we'll take that. Right, I need to make this. Ollie is, I feel like Ollie's gonna drain his. Plus, I really want a birdie for this round. Turn. No! Oh, I just played it through the break, yeah. Right, big putt this to keep us just one down in the match. I'm gonna put it on the, I'm gonna put it on the edge, mate. It's fine. Yes! Come on. Right, Ben, give us an assessment of your round so far. It's been pretty good front nine. Yeah. Probably the best I've ever played. <laughs> yeah, it was unreal. Six over. So yep. Yep. Very happy. Amazing course. Can't fault it. There are so many good holes on this course. This par five runs along the ridge line and you get beautiful views from both sides. Oh, I just got in my own head. What was I thinking about stuff for? Ah, oh, stupid. I just, oh, it's not my proudest moment. I'm just gonna lay it up in front of the bunkers now. Got an eight iron in hand. Seems a bit silly, but I don't think I can get across the bunkers because of the dog leg. That'll do. Bounce left. Oh my God, is that in the bunker? Oh my God, it's, oh my God, it's gone in. Are you kidding me? How? I'm like 180 yards from that bunker. The worst thing is, I just literally clubbed down. I was like, seven will go. Seven has a chance of going in the bunker. Not much of a chance, but a little bit of a chance. So I've hit an eight, and it's gone in. Oh, well, take a look at that, though. Look at that. Talk about views. Oh, this is mighty unfortunate, this is. So now I'm just going to hit full 54 out, get the ball moving. Well, just about out, I guess. Pig zero this one. Got about 149 in. Gonna hit a nine iron. Everything is bouncing so long at the moment. I should be in the middle of the green, hopefully. Oh, it's short. Oh my God, what is going on? Oh my God. Right, should have taken eight. Gone a little bit short, started running, and then it's caught the false front and started turning left. So it's now short left of the green. All right, I kind of need to make this. I think. Sit. Not bad. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, seven. Ah, oh, damn. So what have we got next? <laughs> 220 par 3 into okay cool am i pulling drive out on a par 3 there's a good chance this par 3 is absolutely disgusting 223 yards long all right par 3 it's like 200 into wind it's got a four iron just hoping that somehow some miracle i can hit it oh thinned it straight right that is crap is that dead Provisional, see if I can find that ball down there, but it looks like it might be dead. That's better, but yeah, it's just ballooning up in the wind. Oh no. Oh wow. Who shouting get in the bunker? It could have stayed on the top. <laughs> All right, found the ball, found the first ball, just down in here. I've got club length relief, um, and then we're going to try and chip up. It's better than trying to go out of the bunker, so. Only problem is there's absolutely nowhere to put the camera, so you're just gonna see me hitting it out and I'll tell you what happens. Is it there? I'm up and out. Is it off the green? Fringe. On the fringe. Okay, just gotta trap this one and have it run on, really. That is, oh yeah, it's turned in a bit. Better than I was actually thinking it would be. No way has that gone low. Oh, that's a triple bogey. Oh, a triple bogey. Next up, we have the signature hole on the course. It's also the hardest. It's an insanely downhill par four and then up to a race green. Look at this for a hole, guys. Down into like a valley. It's saying that if you hit like, like a 280 distance, it's like playing like 210. <laughs> so if I hit my hybrid, it should be the longest hybrid I've ever hit. Here are what we're assuming are going to be the victors of the day. I think we've been hustled. <laughs> I think we've been hustled. Local knowledge, that's we're, currently, we're currently three down with how many to play? Five. Five to go. <sighs> Crikey, yeah, no. It's weirder things have happened, haven't they, Ben? Yeah. I've not hit that very well. That's come right off the top. It's, it's alive gonna just like get across this uh, little ravine at the bottom and then just get on for another one because I'm way too far away to get there in two. Uh, come on, right? That's right. Yeah, all right, we are on the fairway. All right, got 64 yards to the pin. Don't know how much green I've got to work with, so. Oh, f off, sorry. Oh, that is so bad. I don't know what I did there. I think at this stage, it's inexcusable for me missing greens from like 60 yards out, but sometimes you're just not in the right frame of mind, are you? I mean, that's why we love this game, because there's always more to work on. You can always get better. Right, this is pretty shit. Not got a great lie. Off a down slope. Gonna try and like, kind of like just flop it, get it moving. No! I hate this game. Got to hit this about 14 yards and then the slope should take it, so. Oh, it's got a sit in it. Stop. Uh, I mean, you've got to take it. It's like to save the double. All right, rough stretch of holes there. Sad. Very sad. Next up, we have a challenging par three. It's 180 yards long and it's SI 15. All right, let's see if we can turn it around for the end, eh? Nope. Yeah, well, my game's gone to so. You're seeing a complete collapse here, guys. All right, got 60 yards. Getting there slowly, making progress, all that jazz. That's right. Oh my God, that's landed short. Run ball. Thank God, sometimes I'm like, thank God it's really hard out here because then I get a bit of relief when I don't do the greatest shot. But then if I do a good shot and it lands on the green, it's gone. So we'll make it, well, I, I would love to make a par here. All right, come on, 30 foot. Get in. 
it's not going to go. For the tail of my round, it's just it's just not been my day, sadly. Okay, we've got a short par four here. It's 294 yards long. There's a bunker in the middle of the fairway, which is like 160, but to carry it is like 210 to win. So, I'm gonna hit hybrid at it. My God, just get, just go. It's worked out. That is another crap shot. So at this point, guys, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up because I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't talk like I have any idea what's going on. Just gonna hit an eight iron in. <laughs> Hopefully it gets up there. Right. Oh, that's gonna end up left, isn't it? Oh, and it's kicked left as well. I thought I was gonna pull that one. All right, guys, here we go. Update. Right, deep in there, straight up a hill, no green to work with. Just gotta make sure I come through with a fair old bit of speed here. Yeah. Uh, kind of tries to stab it. That's so bad. And that's it's almost worse. Yeah, that's pretty good. Finally, <laughs> we might just about make a bogey. Come on, to save a bogey. <sighs> all right, double. I think this round is is played out, guys. Looking back, all I can do is laugh. Surely it can't get any worse. We're on a par four here. It's 366 yards long. Another absolute stunner of a hole here. I love it when you hit down into a valley. Let me just show you how ugly I can make it though. Oh, I am absolutely dead. Is that going to be in long stuff in front of us? Yeah, why don't I do that the first time? Don't. All right, well, we found the first ball, so I guess that's a result. It is pretty deep, though. Oh, I literally... <sighs> what am I doing? You, you see me, this is the first time I think on camera I've been defeated. I am fully... I am defeated. The course has got me. There you go, that's probably one of the best iron shots I've hit all day. I think this was like a mental determination kind of round. I've literally started poorly. I've got back in it. I'm playing well. I'm striking it well. I'm putting very well. And then out of nowhere, I think I've just, I've flagged a little bit. Maybe it's an energy drop. I don't know, but either way, I have, I can barely, I can barely swing a golf club. That's where we're at. We barely can swing a golf club. I think we've all been there. Um, these are the rounds that I'm really trying to work on as well, guys, where I'm actually showing a bit of mental toughness hanging in there so that you know the score doesn't balloon up and you know you don't shoot like a 95 which i think is probably where we're going to be at by the end of this let's uh, let's show some mental toughness and play a bit better here it's 80 yards to the pin but it's uphill it's gonna hit 50 degree nice. be good be good yeah okay happy two good shots in a row i've got 15 foot people, people out here questioning their life on the screen. <gasps> Come on, Tom. Get in. You little. Okay, no worries. Almost walked straight across your line in a rage. Yeah. All, right, All right, it's almost over. I did wonder if there was any way I could shoot Bus on the back than I did on the front, because I went 10 over on the front. And uh, turns out, yeah, it's possible. Despite the score, this is my new favourite golf course. It's absolutely incredible. It's just unreal. Right, so guys, I am spent and I've just watched two drives that have gone right and they've gone down to the bottom of the hill. Bearing in mind, I've just walked up from the green down there and I am, I'm dead. Uh, I'm here in hybrid. If it goes down there, the video's just ending because I'm not going to get it. The scorecard will just be irrelevant at that point. Absolutely, that's my best hybrid of the day. <laughs> God, literally couldn't have asked for a better spot here. Got an eight iron. Aim it a little bit right at the pin. Should just drift round a little bit. Be good. Caught a hair thin. Oh, took a good kick as well. Sit. It's off the back. Off the back. Sadness. All right, guys, it's that time of the round. What I need you to do is I need you to rate my game out of 10. So we've got off the tee, we've got approach, 
we've got short game and then we've got putting. So I'm not going to give you my ratings this week because I think it might just depress me further. I don't want to think back to what I've done so far. Um, still been a great round. Um, really, really enjoyed it. This course is stunning. So do come and pay it a visit if you can find a member because um, I believe it's quite tricky to get onto, as you would probably expect. Um, played off the whites today. Sadly, can't submit a card because um, it's not measured out for competition. So it's not available in my EG app to add a round, which seems fortunate because obviously I haven't played pretty well. I've just looked at my ball and it's actually not off the back. We're actually putting for birds. So maybe we could finish this in style. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Here we go. 45 foot for birdie. <laughs> Imagine. That is so hard, you donut. That is that is my round. That is my round right there. No, still missable. <laughs> uh. Okay, there we go. We're in. The torture is over. Bogeyed that one. Uh, shot a ninety-five uh, today. Twenty-four over, I believe. Uh, well played, everyone. Cheers for having us, absolute gents, appreciate it. We're gonna to go to the clubhouse now, we're gonna buy these two a beer as a thank you and also because they demolished us in the, uh, in the TVT. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed and you would like to see another video from me, just click right here.